Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So the character we're looking at today is Murphy the Mosasaurus. So we'll look into their location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. It's just a fun, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy it. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps up to all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Murphy the Mosasaurus. So far in our FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria. A prehistoric themed pizzeria with multiple dinosaur themed attractions and characters. The characters we've met so far have been Roger Rex, Ruby Raptor, and Spike the Spinosaurus. Each of these creepy animatronic characters have their own disturbing reasons for trying to attack the Night Guard. Our Night Guard has done their best to fend off all these dangerous dinos. But now we come to the fourth night shift. And with a new shift comes a new character. And the new character we're introducing is Murphy the Mosasaurus. Murphy was of course modelled after the great aquatic dinosaur, the Mosasaurus. He was given a bright blue colour scheme with a cream coloured underbelly and bottom jaw. They were given spiked ridges all up and down their body. For their limbs they have four large flippers. Their inner body parts and flipper design was borrowed from one of their other locations, the Water Wonderland Pizzeria. So Murphy's role up on stage was that of the drum player. They would stand behind a large drum set and play along with the rest of the band. Now not many children were actually familiar with the Mosasaurus. So they just pretty much called Murphy the Sea Dinosaur or the Sea Monster. So as far as the pizzeria was concerned, Murphy was a successful and trouble free animatronic. But as always, looks can be quite deceiving. So as we all know over night time, all the animatronics get placed in their free roam setting. They're free to roam around the pizzeria as they please. But amongst all the other animatronics, Murphy was the only one who hardly moved at all. They just stood in one position for most of the night. Sometimes their fin would move once or twice, but that was about it. The night guard always kept an eye on Murphy through the security cameras. They couldn't really put their finger on it, but something always seemed off about Murphy. They didn't know what it was. But whatever the problem was, it seemed to be quite sinister to say the least. As time went on, Murphy's body seemed to get worse and worse. As each week went by, something new was wrong with them. Their body started leaking and getting oil stains from the inside out, the arm material was torn off, and their tail was half missing. They seemed fine for the longest time. All this happened around the time that the night guard got suspicious of them. It seemed that the more they investigated them, the angrier and more damaged they became. Something was definitely wrong with Murphy. Like they had something twisted inside their body. It was almost like Murphy's body wasn't their own. The night guard alerted the manager about their suspicions. But like always, the manager was in denial and disregarded anything that the night guard said. But knowing that something was terribly wrong with Murphy, they went ahead and arranged for the repair worker to come in and take a look at them. So in the next few days, the repair worker arrived at the pizzeria and got ready to do some service work on Murphy. So now we come into the first gameplay segment of the video. The player would take on the role of the repair worker and do the required maintenance work. So first off, they would disengage Murphy's ability to open and close their jaw. The last thing they wanted is another bite incident. So in order to do this, the player would need some help from their trusty helpy Matic. This was a handheld computer system that was used to work on the animatronics. 
They plugged in the Helbimatic into Murphy's bottom jaw and started to override their system. In order to do this, they needed to complete a series of hacking puzzles. Once completed, this would then shut down Murphy's jaw movement. Now before they open Murphy up, the player now has the ability to x-ray his body with the Helbimatic. The repair worker holds up the device and sets it to x-ray mode. The device flickers to life as it scans through Murphy's outer layer. And what they see is very strange to say the least. The device's screen turns to static as the image is no longer available. Then all of a sudden, Murphy's jaw opens up as wide as it can. Their eyes roll back into their head as something slowly exits their mouth. What on earth was going on? Hanging out of Murphy's mouth was a miniature endoskeleton. But who was it? And what was it doing inside of Murphy's body? Its eyes started to glow red as the screen fades to black. By the morning, the repair worker was nowhere to be seen. The employees thought that he must have left late last night. But the night guard knew that that couldn't be possible. There was no footage of them ever leaving the building. It was clear that something must have happened to them, and it involved Murphy. So, that night, the guard attempted to sneak up on Murphy and catch them doing anything suspicious. They hit around a corner and waited for something to happen. They didn't know what, but they were desperate to get some answers. As they waited and watched, Murphy's mouth began to open. And out flew what looked to be some sort of hat. In fact, it was the repair worker's cap. They knew that Murphy had something to do with their disappearance, and this just solidified it. Then, all of a sudden, before their eyes, creeped out what looked to be a miniature endoskeleton. What was an endo doing inside of Murphy's body? Before the guard knew it, Murphy turned around, allowing the endo to look straight at them. Their eyes glowed red as the night guard quickly got out of there as fast as they could. That thing has seen their face. It wouldn't be long before it goes after them just like it did the repair worker. The safest place to stay was in the security office and wait till morning. But who knows if that thing will follow them to the office. All they can do is get prepared for its arrival. So now we come to the final gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop follows the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. As the night guard checks the security cameras, for the first time in a while, Murphy is moving around more than they ever have before. It looks like the endoskeleton has tucked itself back inside of Murphy's body. Who knows when it's going to pop out again? So throughout the night, they would need to keep an eye out for Murphy. Whilst they were dealing with the other characters, Murphy and the endo would make their move. As soon as they see them approach from the right hand door, they would need to close it immediately. Sometimes they would see Murphy, and the other times they would see the endoskeleton. The player would need to be careful and look out for specific signals. If Murphy's mouth was open but there was no endo, this would mean that they would need to immediately check both the air vents. In this instance, the endo would be able to detach from Murphy's body and crawl through the vents. When the player sees the endoskeleton, they would need to use the Helpymatic and X-Ray scan them. The sudden X-Ray beam would stun them and cause them to retreat. So now that Murphy had the ability to separate and become two entities, the player was really dealing with five characters rather than four. The player needs to keep on high alert and look out for both these disturbing characters. If they lost sight of them or got overwhelmed, they'd be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Murphy would be a very interesting addition to the Jolly Jurassic roster of characters. 
Their ability to separate and become two different characters would certainly mix up the gameplay and always keep the player on their toes. Their frightening appearance and mysterious backstory is definitely sure to frighten the player. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to comment down below what you thought of Murphy the Mosasaurus, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, catch you later, bye.